Hey what's going on PC gamers, welcome to my newest video to end today we will talk gaming monitors. That's right, we will be going through the best 24, 27 and 28 inch monitors and we will have only the best for each size. Now these monitors may be a little pricey so if you want something average but still good you can find alternatives along with pricing and availability for these monitors down in the description below. Now let's start. Now let's go ahead and look at this 24 inch VG248QE. This monitor has everything a gamer needs, except it uses a TN panel instead of IPS. IPS is of course a little bit superior and, and pricier. Now it has a 144 hertz refresh rate and less than one millisecond response time, giving it the smoothest and crispiest PC, gaming, PC gaming experience for now. Color quality, however, is average and it takes some calibrating if you are really that picky about the colors. Now, newer versions of this monitor should start shipping with G-Sync, but if you already have this monitor and you want G-Sync, it's not too late as it can be upgraded. However, I don't recommend doing so yourself unless you're absolutely sure what you're doing. Now, if you don't know what G-Sync is, it basically synchronizes the monitor and the graphics card, which completely eliminates any sort of screen tearing while greatly reducing the input lag. When it comes to 27 inch gaming monitors, this one has not yet been released, it's going to be released in the second half of 2014, so stay, stay tuned. The ROG Swift BG278Q features more than 120 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time. Now this is native for the monitor, it comes with it, it was meant to work that way, unlike some old you know Korean monitors that could be overclocked to that amount but you know then you risk the monitor damage. In this case the monitor comes with G-Sync already installed so if you have a really powerful rig that can push games up to that FPS on 2560 times 1440 resolutions you found the best monitor for you. Now console gamers might ask me as all as they always do should they buy um, this kind of monitor for, for console gaming. Now, you could do that, but you you would be wasting money. These consoles can't really push past 60 FPS, and they can't go past um, 1080p resolutions. Now, having in mind, they're talking about the Xbox One and PS4, in which case that would be that would be true. But if if it comes to you know Xbox uh, 360 and PS3 then you, you really, really shouldn't get this monitor. Now, it, it comes with DisplayPort 1.2 for native WQHD output, dual USB 3.0 port, Visa wall mount capability, and a versatile stand uh, with uh, full tilt, swivel, pivot, and height adjustment for an ideal viewing positions. PB278Q, something interesting, a 4K monitor with a 60 hertz refresh rate. For those who don't know, this is actually a good thing. So you can't find 120 hertz monitors with 4K resolutions, at least not yet. It's just not going to happen anytime soon. Weird thing is, this monitor costs about the same as the PG278Q, the previous monitor, which is actually two times, which has two times smaller resolutions. So. It has one millisecond response time, which for a 4K resolution is just phenomenal. Also, to have any kind of normal performance in today's games on that kind of monitor, you will need to either SLI to mid-level cards or buy a really expensive high-end one, like GTX Titan, to handle the resolution properly, which is going to set you back for another, let's say, thousand dollars. So, with that, we conclude today's video. Now, all information, pricing, and availability you can find somewhere in the video description down below. And if you have any questions and suggestions, please post a question down below, and I will try to help you out. If you found this video useful and like what we do, please subscribe for more content, which should from now on arrive every two days. Thanks for watching. Peace.